Hey everybody, welcome back to Wargaming Lab. We'll be continuing our Germany playthrough. I've been um, hinted at that there's been some audio issues with my mic specifically, so I think I've resolved those. Well, I guess we'll see how this goes. So, uh, let's get right into the action here. Okay, fourth core is still coming in. Got some more divisions coming. Our fighter practicals uh, staying stable, at least we're not suffering decay. Once we're building less infantry divisions, we'll be able to develop more to fighters and bombers and stuff like that. Artillery barrel. Great, so nineteen thirty nine spec. Ooh, uh, short barrel tank, high explosive. Okay, so we can do infantry tanks now. I think we're not. That also unlocks medium armor. So there, there we go. And I'm actually going to cancel these orders because if we have medium armor available that fast, I'd rather just avoid the upgrade cost. We'll just put in another core of infantry and we'll do some more um, fighters and bombers. Okay, we have some new decisions we can check out. Highways, mining, railroad, railroad tycoon, or farm mechanization. So these are the outputs of our long-term investment choice instead of short-term. So I think we're going to go ahead and do some mining. Well, let's actually see what the benefits are. Railroad tycoon is supply throughput, which we don't need quite yet. Farm mechanization frees up men for um, the army because there's less farming uh, labor need. Uh, it's not something we need right now. Uh, we're going to go with mining. All right, there's our mining bonus. So we're going to be getting some crude oil, energy, metals, rare materials, and IC production efficiency. We, but we lost 15% IC, and I believe this lasts for the year. I think that's overall worth it to me. Okay, we got this uh, Befell Stocktik. So defensiveness, that's, that's a pretty huge stat for everything. All right, so the Czech Nazi party um, is now 4% of their popularity. That's that's pretty good. 
Let's check our politics. No changes this month. Okay, uh, let's see. It's a little slow start here, guys. Sorry. Um, warship small engine, armament, range finding, and artillery. Okay. Okay, we still want screws and rudder. Got one of our medium bomber groups coming out soon here. Let's see what our practical is. So 7.3. Oh, it's one more, two more days actually. We have enough uh, medium bombers to make another group, I think. Or no, those might be light bombers, yeah. Eight point six, that's much better. We'll go with uh, M Oat ground attack. And we'll give them to the th second fighter, or sorry, the second Air Force uh, Air Force region. Yeah, medium armor designs is going pretty quick here. So yeah, we'll just wait to start that order until we're able to do medium armor. We'll also have better armored cars at that point, so less upgrade costs too, so I think that's worth waiting. Okay, 17th division's done. Get another practical build of medium bombers going. Now let's get medium velocity gun going. I think that just unlocked. Put that to the top. I think that's one of the more impactful technologies because it gives us a uh, soft attack and hard attack and um, a slight decrease in toughness I think that just means that the barrels may be more exposed but uh, we also get slightly better air defense from our um, anti-aircraft guns
Okay, submarine advance, uh, class advance. Let's just check out on what that gives us now. So we're at type seven Cs. I believe we started out with type seven Bs. So it's a, it's a minor increase, but I believe that puts our visibility down to to six, which is better than seven, which is what I believe this B type is. So visibility. Oh no, it's 0.75 better. Uh, everything matters. It, it adds up. So we'll probably do a rebuild on some of these really early subs before 19. 40 or so, just to, so they're not completely ancient. Road network increase, definitely. Money shortage. Let's just check what our decrease is. Yeah, it's low. We're still at 3,311. Yeah, so our, our army is expanding pretty rapidly here. So we're up to 200, almost 220,000 men on the Western Front. Interesting thing. Unless they changed it, it provides a very small amount of experience just, just th through movement. I'll have to check on that again. Move this infantry division around just a bit and see if it changes anything. But as of right now, you can see these divisions have um, combat experience values of zero, which is right underneath that organizational value. Yeah, maybe they patched that out because I'm not seeing combat experience gain from movement. So Austria's national unity is dropping. It's now 71% compared to our 99%. So that gives you a sense of, of things. They don't have any dissent. And our party is increasing. It's seven percent now. Czech Republic was three percent last time we looked, and it's it's dropped. So you know, there's interior stuff that happens, and this just contributes to a decrease in national unity, I believe. Okay, we're getting another 1937 uh, decision, which is um, 1916 era, 24 centimeter guns on on uh, on railway tracks. Originally, coast defense ship. I think. No, I'm gonna pass. They're just they're just too old. Tank fa factory expansion and Bremen. That's nice. That'll actually, yeah, that'll help us shortly here when we start tank construction. Our infantry practical is now 18, which is very high. So uh, it's mostly what we've been building so far, so I'm not surprised. Our fighter practicals dropped to 10 from 10.2. So hopefully we'll get another fighter out of construction here soon. Coastal submarine advance. Let's just check and see what level that gives us. I 
They're still type 2s. I believe they're C class now. Just check what the originals were. B class is a really very small difference. Nineteen thirty nine, I'll retrain them. We're gonna queue some nineteen thirty eight text now, I believe we're gonna start having some free research soon. There's a lot of nineteen thirty eight technologies, uh, including this coal liquefaction thing, so let's actually move that up to the top since that's nineteen thirty seven. We also get our first uh, electronics research, uh, so radio for infantry and tank. It's probably enough for now. Infantry organization gain, so we just got a, a tech. Let's check on first division. We'll, they're at 84 right now. We should see them go up to. Yeah, 89. Okay, that's great. Every bit counts. Let's see, 1935, just making sure we're not missing anything here. Yeah, we're not. Let's take that off. Small warships. Okay, destroyer class, I'm definitely going to get that going. Let's move that to the top. Turn off that. Okay, so we get, should get better destroyers soon. Right now our destroyers are Type 34s in the field, and then we could build Type 36s, and I think what we'll get once we train this is, is 1938s. Bunch of training technologies here for mobile and armor. Motor torpedo boats, which are um, even smaller than regular torpedo boats. They're like little PT boats. And we're getting, we're able to build S700s right now. I will build some of these later in the war. Uh, they build so fast, I don't feel the urge to build them right now. Okay, so our Western Front, at least pre-war Western Front, is is done for the moment. Um, these will be enough divisions to hold the frontier with France while we uh, conquer Poland. That's kind of the idea. So we'll start building up our, our Eastern Army now. We can get our first division going for that right now. So this old star means old guard, and they, they get some defense, fort defense, and digging bonus, but lose attack speed, experience gain, and offense. I think that's fine. My um, infantry divisions are mostly just going to be for holding the line and mopping up once my armored and motorized divisions have done the work. So I don't mind if these infantry divisions have some older fashion generals. And we're going to form the third army out here, and uh, this area is Pomerania. And we'll put, uh, let's see, we'll put von Lieb in charge of the third army, and we need to create an army group for out here. 
this will get split up into like Army Group North, North Central and South later on. And we'll, uh, we'll put Von Kluge in charge of this group. So we're going to have a third army in Pomerania, fourth army in Silesia, and then a, a smaller fifth army in East Prussia. Uh, with, with attached armored units, that'll be enough to uh, conquer Poland, no problem. Another Willy uh, Messerschmitt research bonus to planes. We gain heavy industry in Frankfurt. And then we get the, um, I guess, the official start of the officer purge in the Soviet Union. So the army eliminated three out of five generals, or marshals, 15 out of 16 army commanders, half of the 70 to 80,000 men of the entire officer corps. So the Soviet Union is going to have some leadership issues for the next couple of years. Oh, Hindenburg disaster. disaster. So... Uh, airship crashed May 6, 1937. Caught fire, destroyed during its attempt to dock with the mooring mass in Lakehurst Naval Air Station. That's funny, I thought they were, I thought everybody died. I guess not everybody. Um, interesting. Cavalry exploitation. Okay, we've got another submarine out, so we'll add this to our first ocean-going group. Let's see what our sub-practical is. Not terrible. Okay, uh, heavy armor forging, we're going to gain some battleship uh, tech availability. Uh, we're not going to be doing battleships, so we can ignore that for the moment. Warship damage control and wing aerodynamics, which is under aircraft systems. Let's turn that off. Let's get some 1937 plane technologies going. Close air support, fighter bomber. We won't be doing carrier groups. Light bomber. And actually, that should be enough. We'll move the ones that are partly finished up to the top. Those are partly researched because of that Willie Messerschmitt bonus, so there's no problem with putting them up further in the uh, technology production tab. All right, so okay, getting lots of technologies going now. Um, let's throw in 1938 heavy cruiser relevant technologies. Um, this 37 and 35 I just noticed are way out of date. Let's get those to the top. Interesting. Actually, we'll do we'll do light cruiser, at least 1934. I just I'm remembering that we have a bunch of light cruisers that we can uh, rebuild, and if we have slightly better technology, 
for those. Um, we, I think they'll do better in battles of this Leipzig class. Okay, so Spanish state won the Civil War much earlier than historically accurate, probably because of, partly because of all of the investment we did there with that earlier decision. Got some new factories coming out, more infantry as usual. Okay, nationalists won the war. I believe we get a unit for that. Let's uh, scroll down. Legion, Condor Legion. So we gained a fighter group and closer support. So we'll move these up to Rostock. We can move uh, the fighter actually straight over to Cologne. Okay, fifth core halfway done. Okay, we're now a regional land power. We gain land organization and lose IC efficiency for that. This is what we were previously, local military power. These are the effects that we've lost. And I believe we can check strategic effects. I didn't go over this earlier. Um, all of the strategic effects that are, the green bar is full or it says two out of three or two, or or it's 3 out of 3, 2 out of 2, and so forth, means that it's currently active. So we right now have a... We're nickel neutral and we're zinc neutral. We're suffering from a tungsten shortage, which has the following effects, a rubber shortage, um, which will hopefully resolve before the war starts. Molybdenum, manganese, so these two basically make tanks a little bit longer to build. So copper is a supply problem, chromite is rare materials and IC efficiency, and then aluminum is an air build speed thing. Uh, let's see, so we're currently at all these training values, and then I wish there was a way to sort this by theme. So we're a regional land power. I think the next step up is continental military power. And, or is it just, no, it's land power after regional. So we need at least one armored brigade. I'm sorry, we need medium armor designs one, heavy armor designs one, that's pretty easy. And we currently have 240 brigades, we need 350. Continental is 500, with ships totaling 50, and planes totaling 120, we have a long way to go there, especially on the plane front. And then global land power is, is 900 brigades, so we've got a long way to go there. Um, the, I think the final step is global military superpower, and that's a very high bar. I don't ever think I've actually hit that before. Weak military superpower is 1,200, 1,400. Planes, 250. I think that's mostly what's gotten in the way. It's the planes and the ships for me. The U.S., it's much easier to hit these two. I think the highest I've ever got is Germany is this global land power thing. Yeah, because that's much easier to, to reach. Okay, we got uh, techs opening up. Uh, we still can't build medium armor. We're getting, oh no, we're about, to, we're about to get there. So I'll add those to the production queue right now. We can immediately throw in three-man turret. We're not going to wait for that to build them, but uh, that's a pretty crucial technology. Heavy armor designs, 1937, we'll throw that in. Okay, let's add those to the queue. Okay, the thing, I think the thing here that I want to, so we had, there was medium, or sorry, heavy anti-aircraft guns. That's a lot of piercing attack, but so is tank destroyer, so I think these are sort of repetitious. I'd rather have the tank destroyers. Uh, we'll keep the medium armor. Um, yeah, it'll slow us down a bit. 
I'm sorry. Uh, we'll keep the medium artillery, I was about to say, but actually I'm realizing that that's a three speed, so we'll just do regular artillery. And then I'll, because um, that's a five speed, and then I'll upgrade these to self-propelled, hopefully, as soon as possible. And then I'll throw in um, motorized engineers. So that's our armored division. Let's build five of those. Those are 35 IC each, so pretty expensive. Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, Mountain Warfare. I'm thinking we'll be able to build Mountain Divisions now. I think it's just the pack artillery that's holding us up, or like, what's the, what's the deal? It's possible we can't build them until we get this decision here, which is in 1938. But I don't under, I don't remember that being a problem before I, I remember being able to build mountain infantry, but I guess I can't. Yeah, I definitely can't. We'll do twin engine fighters too. I do end up building some of those later on. Okay, let's throw in some more. Well, actually, we're already at 87 projects. Never mind. We'll just leave it the way it is. Yeah. Okay, more fighters. I think this is so cool. Something about this fighter group here. So something about this fighter group is bugged. It could be that it was because it was created by a decision, but if it doesn't go above 7% strength, I'm going to have to delete it. I don't think there's a way that I can fix that. Yeah, it's definitely bugged. That's a shame. All right, well, it's going to be deleted, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so we we'll have another core coming out for Third Army. I believe we need at least four per army, so that'll be... So one more infantry corps will be Third Army, and then 20 more divisions for Fourth Army, and then at least 10 for Fifth Army, and then maybe another run of Panzers before Poland starts would be ideal. Still need to build up our Air Force, too. Our factories are mostly finishing up now, which is good. Okay, the war in China started. I'll go over there in a second and check that out. Okay, fighters, 1938. Let's throw in infantry, 1938 as well. Defensive positions, 1936, so I'll move that to the top. Truck and prime mover, 1938. Oh, I don't need that to be at the top. I just want it queued. Okay, that's 1940. Monroe effect, 1938 is good. So this is the um, the physical effect that explains uh, hollow charge projectiles. So we'll go over to that. We'll go over that more when we build some units that utilize a uh, heat um, high explosive anti tank weapons, which are uh, hollow charge. Weaponry.
We'll actually give six core to where is he? To Beck. He might get uh, an army later on in the war. We'll see. Amelia Earhart disappears. Okay, so let's drag uh, our attention over to the Pacific. So she was flying between um, California and Australia, I believe. Um, and she went down somewhere in here and was never found, unfortunately. So the Queen of the Air was lost. And that gives a global 1% reduction to air organization. I'd really like to finish these factories soon. We need the IC available for the tanks. Um, our first division is coming out at the end of the year, which is great. We'll get a lot of practical from this. I don't think our divisions are always going to be 35 IC each. They're always going to be expensive, but I hope it comes down from this a little bit because we. I'll go into this when we talk about Barbarossa, but I want about 100 infantry divisions. Um, they don't have to all be the same exact build, but around 100 inf infantry divisions. I want at least 25 tank divisions, um, 10 in Army Group North, 10 in Army Group Center, and at least 5 in Army Group South. Um, some basically the same amount of motorized divisions with the same breakdown. Um, some SS divisions that will be partly given by decisions or events, and then um, at least 5 if not 10 mountain divisions, along with uh, at least five fighter groups per army group so we got a long way to go um, france is a bit easier i can get away with around 50 infantry divisions and about 10 uh, panzer divisions so okay so we're getting some decisions now that are related to events that happened in the lead up to the war so this is a decision about um, foreign policy. So the Hasbach Memorandum was a meeting, internal meeting, where Hitler basically outlines his future goals. Um, and this is where foreign policy starts to radicalize, and uh, expansion plans for Europe are are put in writing, basically. Uh, and it, one of the interesting things is that he didn't want war in 1939. I don't know what he was expecting. Attacking Poland, well, that was a member of the Allies at the time, uh, was going to start the war, so a little bit stupid. He wanted small wars of plan. Uh, full scale in 1939. Uh, you don't really get away with attacking Poland. I mean, yeah, they won, but thinking of somehow that you're not going to start a world war doing that is just pretty short-sighted. Okay, we get to upgrade our seaports and railways. Oh, lots of decisions coming out. Okay, we're getting some extra supply throughput, money and resources from those. Forward air control. Yeah, we really need more fighters. We only have like two partial groups out, out in the rear. Yeah, 
and we're still struggling to even build one. Oh, okay, I guess that one's fully in build now. Um, but yeah, we're still struggling to get these into production here. We just don't have enough IC, and they're very expensive. Okay, uh, there's an assassination attempt of one of the lead Italian generals in Italian East Africa, and the Italians respond to that by killing 20,000 people. <laughs> That's brutal. Um, I guess that Goba region is sort of modeling that, because this is Addis Ababa. Italy won't have a, a chance in hell of holding on to this. I mean, they're surrounded by the British. Okay, this factory run should open up some IC for us. All right, so this is a, an SS thing. So we start to get these um, SS Standart and Token Totenkop um, units, and these are mostly role playing and and are broadly, you know, sadly modeling the um, the Holocaust. So I'm gonna delete a lot of these because I just don't really need them. And I also am not interested in having concentration camp. Uh, units, even if they're not actually doing anything in the game, they're still modeling that, so I'll probably delete those units as they spawn. Uh, the combat divisions I'll keep, but the, yeah, the concentration camp ones I won't. Yeah, my IC is fluctuating quite a bit. There's just so many decisions firing right now. Had another plane come out of construction. Okay, we have two complete fighter groups uh, guarding basically the industrial center of the country. Uh, we want at least one more, two more up north, one in Berlin. Yeah, we need we need like at least five more groups before the war starts, minimum. Okay. Okay, there's all those factories now. Now we're really cooking with gas. So, destroyer class, okay, great. Um, let's get these 1937 ones going. We'll move these to the top. Okay, a fighter. Some of these are behind. It's not really concerning to me. All right, we got to check Blitzkrieg because we've had some things that got sort of left behind here. I'm going to get infiltration tactics, stormtrooper tactics, Kessel Schlacht, which. Uh, so, this is sort of one of the components of what the English word Blitzkrieg um, encapsulates. So, cauldron battle. So, once you break through the enemy's line, the breakthrough through is exploited to encircle and destroy enemy forces. So these these encircled enemy units are going to be dealt with by infantry. And speed and coordination are the key factors. So in combination with Sverpunkt, which is um, committing combat power at a crucial point, which I guess in this illustration would be like right here or right here, those two combined along with sort of some armored spearhead doctrine stuff is kind of what encapsulates Blitzkrieg. And then you throw in some kind of Prussian military flair um, off tracks tactique, which is mission type or mission command tactics, where basically local commanders are given a lot of leeway, is one of the things that makes this such an effective uh, way of thinking about warfare. Let's move these all to the top.
gained a little bit of popularity. Let's go into politics. Yeah, so National Socialism is back up to 16%. Not th really through anything I'm doing, but um, internal factors, it says. So Hitler, this power-hungry demag demagogue thing gives ruling party support. Totalitarian system gives the plus 30%. That makes sense. Propaganda, 1%. And then Führer Prinzip is something that I think is just innate to Germany. Um, I'll have to look that one up more another time. Okay, uh, the four-year plan continues. Um, yep, year one, so we're going to gain industry in those following cities, along with some steel refineries, coal fields, and rares extraction and we gain 50 manpower but we lose those things to basically construct that and i think that's worth it so okay heavy industry expansion heavy industry in erfurt yep uh great hong kong typhoon so that's not good for typhoon uh yeah well uh, you can see that japan has invaded china so they've captured the beijing region basically and then uh Shanghai, which is what we'd expect for right around this time in 1937. Destroyer crew training, cool, okay. Uh, we got some inefficient technologies here, all in naval doctrine. Let's get these turned off. So this is an SS training school. Um, and it basically just allows us to recruit SS headquarters, which we will do. Let's just check and see if there's any decisions that have choice. So we're not going to be doing too much of the. To be useful for urban attack, especially. So assault gun upgrade. Well, they're going to be probably included with medium armor already, so that doesn't make sense. Engineers for sure. Um, I already did assault gun. Let's do anti-tank. And recon is always good. Great, that's done. Check our fuel uh, consumption or production. So we're only producing eight in home territory, which is converted along with coal liquefaction into. Let's see. We're, we're right now we're netting positive fuel, um, but we do need to think about creating more um, oil wells. So we're going to add one more to Hanover, which is currently our only oil producing region. We'll move that to the top. Waiting too late in the game to do this is not the greatest idea. Okay, improve coal liquefaction, that's fantastic. Let's go check our industry. Okay, that's still 1938, so we'll just research that again. Okay, um, the next party congress that gives us a little bit of extra ruling party support and national unity, and it also gives us extra industry. That's interesting. So let's see where Hennef is. I'm not sure. Oh, here. It's in the rear. So we'll just go ahead and say yes. We'll have to build these aircraft um, guns where, where these factories are located. Okay, let's start a new core. So this will be the seventh core. Uh, I guess Blaskovitz is probably probably good enough choice as any. Um, and then we'll go attach to Third Army. Okay, great. 
All right, let's uh, go ahead and put this infantry division out. Oh man, so many, so many windows. Okay. This initial buildup stuff is tedious. Um, when the combat starts, this game really gets really, really gets fun. Right, so the, here's our first uh, Death's Head units. So these are produced across Germany. And they impact off division. The Totenkopf Stantarte basically divisions along with some the security police. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these units, and I'm going to be building up my own anyway, so I'm just going to delete them. And, and in the process of deleting these, it'll basically wreck that, that production um, chain, and that's okay, because I want to do it myself anyway. And I'm actually going to do the same for these. And they're not really divisions yet, so I'm not losing much. Okay, cool. So SS is removed for the moment. Okay, another bomber available. This will be our second group. Okay, we got three Panzer divisions in production now. Um, the most recent one comes out in 1938. We're getting a lot of little notifications that we have some inefficiencies because we're lacking strategic materials. Let's just see if we can buy anything. No, we can't. Uh, one interesting thing I noticed is um, our army buildup has resulted in some threat towards France. This doesn't really turn into anything. Um, this is sort of our military's appraisal of the highest threat to us. If we were to go over to to France itself, you can see their highest threat is Japan, and I, have, I assume that has to do with Indochina. So it's the Soviet Union, Japan is what concerns him the most, and the UK. No one seems to be concerned by us right now. That's interesting. Um, that'll change soon. Uh, Three-man turret, that's great. Okay, I think I saw the light cruiser thing came out. We'll do one more level of that. It's no big deal. Okay, our infantry practical is maxed now, basically. It's at 20. Okay, we're going to start putting in some lower skill generals. Um, it's not going to matter too much. I mean, the invasion of Poland by itself is going to increase these generals' abilities by quite a bit. Okay, we're done. Well, no, not quite. We're almost done with Third Army. 
see how much of our IC these factories and tanks are taking up. It's, it's a lot. Our first oil rig is going to be done soon. So the cool thing about some of this infrastructure is the construction speed is very fast. The IC cost is high per given unit. But as soon as this is done, we're going to be getting um, not, you know, not 100% more, but we're going to be getting a, a significant more amount of fuel from Hanover. Right now it's 8.5 um, crude oil, sorry, not fuel, per, is it per day? Yeah, it's per day. Um, that should increase to over, over, hopefully over 15. I guess we'll see in a second. Our motorized and our um, tank practical are low. It's one of the reasons these are so expensive and, and slow. Okay, there's our um, oil rig. Okay, we also completed light cruiser armament. We'll take up light cruiser class 36 and we'll maybe do one more level of that before we upgrade our light cruisers. We have to get our heavy cruisers into production soon, otherwise they're not going to be ready by the time the war starts. Okay, we have a chance to be mediators for the Sino-Japanese conflict. It says that the anti commentary pact violates, or sorry, invading China violates this pact. It's actually not something that I was aware of. Um, but I think our common enemy is um, communism, so, hey Japan, uh, pull your head out of your ass in China. Oh wow, look at that. And uh, help us focus on Russia. But anyway, they've conquered almost all of maritime China, that's amazing. And, and remember, we, we set China's difficulty as very high, so Japan is, is really dominating. You can see the changes, even within a couple of days occurring right there. I think when this first division comes out, our practicals should go up a lot. Should speed up the other orders, we'll see. Okay, Spain wants to buy Type 38 destroyers. Um, I'm actually going to say yes to that. Because those aren't super advanced, and I think they're probably helpful to Spain. Okay, we got some inefficient things here. Let's go cruisers first. Okay, that's 1940. Infantry defensive positions, 1939. Naval doctrine, commander's decision making. Great. Okay. Cool, another fighter's done. So this will be our third fighter group, and we'll put them in Put them at Stuttgart just so we get some defenses down in southern Germany. Okay, we need to add more uh, practical builds for these interceptors. Let's put those to the top. Our fighter practicals slowly declining even with these practical builds, so you can see the importance of doing that. Okay, another ocean going sub. This will be a group two. We're going to put all of the coastal subs just to make this easier to read. The coastal subgroups can go to to Hamburg. Okay, we got stage three economic focus. That's always helpful. Let's split these out too.
these coastal subs will come in handy in the Baltic too. We don't need to assume that they're all necessarily going to the Atlantic. Okay, and then this will be right. This will be the ninth group. Okay, so we have an option to extend the Siegfried line. Right now it, it kind of goes to about, well actually let's see, so this is a two and a two, two and two, two and two. So we have a kind of a frontier line from Krefeld all the way to the Rhine at Landau, and then we have the river supporting us here. So basically what, what it's offering is that we'll extend our fortifications on our side of the river all the way to here. And I think that's worth it because I don't want to devote more than one infantry division to the Rhine. Um, and they're going to get, maybe not as successfully, but they're going to get attacked by France. Um, let's see, 333, three, three, so looking... This is 3% IC and that's 5% until September. Right, we'll go for a middle ground and we'll do we'll do level two. Okay, yeah that'll help quite a bit. Okay, so the Sino Japanese war is in full swing. Um, in order to improve our relations with Japan we'll go ahead and stop trade with China. I don't think they're gonna survive much longer anyway. Uh, Austrian economic miracle, so we're pretty close to being able to annex them. Let's just check there. Okay. Looks like the Nazi party is almost 10% of the government. They're getting some pretty high dissent, and their national unity is not great either. So in terms of annexation, let's just check our decisions here. I'm not seeing it available. Looks like it needs to be, our party has to either have 50 or above popularity, which is nowhere near, uh, or have the political crisis available, which isn't true either yet, or March 1st, 1938. So we still got two, three months to go for that. So no German cooperation. Okay, first Panzer Division's out, and hopefully that helped us with our practical a bit. It did, and so now we're at 10.0 mobile and 7.4 armor. We'll spawn these guys at the Potsdam training area. This will be Panzer Division. And we'll give them a high a high roller of some kind. Let's do Hopner. I'm also going to hit this prioritize upgrade things, uh, this uh, prioritize upgrade button. So that basically provides some guaranteed upgrades. If, if we have so many units that are upgrading that we're maxing our IC use on that, on that um, spending category, then this will upgrade before other units it can. Let's also get a Panzer headquarters going here, so move this to the top. These decisions provide headquarters units that I believe have some attached like armor cars and stuff like that, so they're useful. Uh, more ancient railway guns, I'm not interested. Okay, so our tank practical, or not practical, our tank um, technology is pretty low. We're getting an early version of Panzer III. We are going to be researching three-man turret, um, but we need to get this design higher, and I think that's partly because we need AFV tracks and diesel engines to be 1938. Let's move that to the top. Armored cars as well. Welded and armor plate thickness will go to the top. Artillery brigades. These are things that we should be adding right around now anyway, because it's now 1938. Infantry we've already done. 
Yeah, that's probably okay for now. We'll go medium bomber as well. Okay, we'll come back to research uh, in the next video. Okay, we can do the next destroyer class level. We'll do that as well, along with hydrophone and light anti-aircraft guns. Okay, we have freed up IC now. Um, Let's think about this. So we have another stack of infantry coming out, which will complete 3rd Army. We need at least another 20 for 4th Army. We'll add 10 more. Okay, that gets us partly all the way down that. And then um, once our infantry divisions are done, we'll, we'll start focusing a lot more on armor and, and planes. Light bomber pretty safe. Let's start. Um, now that our light bombers are not so terrible, yeah, during your Doe 17s, let's start moving out some of these, well, some of these bombers anyway, to these other groups and just see them upgrade, or if they can even upgrade. Okay, so this one actually is gaining strength, so it's not bugged like the other one. Okay, Blomberg Fish Affair, affair. so these are some generals, uh, these two guys in particular. Uh, there's a scandal, and basically he gets forced out of head of the army. Um, we can decide to put more loyal Nazis into the field, and I'm definitely going to choose that because the downsides are much greater. So, reform the army command with more loyal Nazis. Oh, interesting. So our uh, tank destroyer reg regiment is composed of these Panzer I Pac-38 uh, designs. That's kind of cool. Motorized engineers. These are just basically our, our just basic kind of vanilla engineers. They just have trucks that they can ride in on. I'd really like to upgrade these with uh, self-propelled before the war starts, because this is going to slow us down a lot. And then, yeah, we looked at that already. Uh, we gain heavy industry in Nuremberg. We get this uh, high command of the army decision, which is just like another command tree that I think is repetitious. Where did it spawn? Oh, right here. So we get a decision there. There we go. So I don't think this is necessary. I think there's a negative Temporarily, there's a negative downside of what I just did, but I think it's unnecessary to have two tiers of command structure like that. Uh, we also got some decisions here, so we can annex Austria one month early. But they provide some significant bonuses to things like Ford attack, so if I click on Commando, 300% forward attack, amphibious attack bonuses, marsh movement, urban attack. Basically, with some exceptions, any division that we put this into is going to be much more effective. We also gain some elite light infantry, which I usually put in my um, mountain divisions because they gain some nice bonuses to mountain and forest attack and defense, marsh attack and defense, just it's an all-around decent unit. Gain our first level of mission command, and then that unlocks some additional command structure stuff in the Blitzkrieg tree. Can't talk today. Blitzkrieg tree. So let's hit brigade command structure, divisional command structure, and core command structure. So these sort of stack with our basic um, command structures, technologies, so we're going to gain some pretty great reductions here in delay between attack. But anyway, that's all for now. So we got our first Panzer Division out. Uh, we're building our Eastern group. Our army is now up to... about, about almost half a million men. I think that's great. 
Uh, before the war starts, it'll be closer to one million. We still got um, a year and change, year and a half to go before we invade Poland. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.